Welcome to the English Conversation Club. Are you ready? Let's go. Today, we are going to talk about modals. Modals? It sounds difficult. It is not so difficult. Give me a few minutes, and I will show you how to use them. Okay. Let's do it. First, let's talk about modals of possibility and speculation. The vocabulary that we will focus on will be could, might, and may. The pattern we will use is person plus modal plus verb. We use this pattern to talk about things that we think are possible. Can you give me some examples? Sure, it might be fun. Let's take a look. Remember that our pattern is person plus modal plus verb. Use the dictionary or infinitive form of the verb. He is a great hitter. He could be a professional baseball player. That was a close play at home plate. He might be out. The pitcher is not playing well today. I may be replaced. That was easy. Another time that we use modals is for deduction. I don't know that vocabulary. It must be difficult. It may be a little confusing. With modals of deduction, we have to think like a detective. Think about the information that you have, and then make a guess based on your information. He is on the field. He is with the players. He is explaining something. He must be the coach. It looks scary. I hear monster noises. The sign says Frankenstein. This must be Dr. Frankenstein's mansion. I saw Santa with some presents. It must be Christmas. I see a bride and groom at the church. They must be getting married. Let's talk about two more things. First, remember that must and must not mean that you're a very sure of something. We looked at many deductions using must, but any modal is okay. If you are less sure, you can use may, might, or could. Also, we have looked at many examples with the verb to be, but any verb is okay. That might have been too much information. You must be tired. Thanks for watching and good luck with your studies.